everybody, this is Miss K, and welcome to Miss K on Postal. Happy hump day, you guys. I hope you're having a great, great week. Soon it's going to be over. It's going to be Friday for us, and we can move on, mosey on into the weekend. Um, So, Miss K should have been coming to y'all. Let me just get straight to the motherfucking point, because you know how I do. I should have been coming to y'all with a video in regards to what's going on in Wichita. If you guys heard about that, they have they another clusterfuck. Can't move mail, fucking poor baby chickens dying and shit. It's, it's horrible. Well, I should be coming to you about the letter carriers and their contract and what's going on with them. But no, that's not what I'm doing right now. What I'm doing right now is I'm going to have a little discussion with you guys about some bullshit that's been going on for the past, I want to say, two to three weeks. And this week, it really, really hit home. So I really, really want to discuss with you guys about what's going on. So I don't know where you guys are on your slave ship. What's going on? But on my slave ship, you know, where I am this time of year, it's spring break. So, you know, of course, people take off a of spring break. Their kids are off or they're going on trips. And this is to be expected. We expect a couple of, you know, employees to not be here to, you know, be on vacation, doing what they do with their kids. That That's every year. This year, it's a little bit fucking different. Let me tell you why. Because this year, it's not even people taking scheduled time off to go be with their families. It's motherfuckers banging out every fucking day. Like every day. Six called here, seven called here, eight called. And this is not male handlers. Oh, I'm not finna. Oh, I'm putting a blanket on everybody. It's clerks. It's motherfucking custodians. It's maintenance. Shit. Supervisors barely could get to work on time or they calling out. What the fuck is going on? On top of the mere fact that our MHAs and our PSCs are riding with three days off. The fucking place looks like a goddamn ghost town. Like, it makes no sense. So all of us are doing quadruple duty. Half the time I'm a supervisor. Half the time I'm a male handler. Half the time I'm a male, a male tech. Other half, I, I don't know what. I might as well jump in the truck and start driving, bro. It's that serious right now. I don't know if it's a mere fact that morale is lower than low. And we, you know, some postal workers just don't seem to give a fuck. I don't know if it's the fact that all these changes going on and making people just, just be in despair. You know, or maybe these motherfuckers won the lottery. They need to tell me, baby, give me some numbers because Miss K I won't be up in here no longer than I have to give me some money. Because I come in this motherfucker every day and the parking lot the parking lot is deceiving. There are cars here. I don't know if they car pulling together, but when you walk in the door, shoo, what you hear, you hear the breeze blowing because ain't nobody in this bitch. Nobody. I mean, I don't... I don't understand. Honestly, y'all, at this point in my postal career, this is as bad as I've seen it. You've had people call out but this is, this is beyond, beyond. This is beyond the pale, as they say. Beyond the pale. I mean, every other day, something jumping off in the media about what's going on with us, the Postal Service. And then I come to work, and bitches ain't here. They're like, oh, well, you know, today we're going to be short-staffed. This is all I keep hearing. Short staff, short staff. I mean, is that something I can order? Do you go to Denny's and get it? Because I'm not understanding. Because every fucking day we come here, it's like this. I don't know, guys, if this is happening where you are. If you're seeing this type of decline in the amount of employees. And once again, like I said, it is spring break for those of us. And a lot of y'all across the country, your kids are going on spring break. It's college spring break. But nine times out of 10, most of our employees are here or they take a scheduled time or they use a prime time to be gone. This ain't prime time, baby. This is banging out every day. People are, it's like, it's becoming a problem. 
On top of the fact that we don't have certain employees because you don't want to give them fucking hours because once again, we're told, well, we're over the budget. You don't give any fucking overtime, but you don't want people to come work for eight hours. And contrary to what a lot of y'all believe, because some of you career employees believe that, oh, well, you know, they shouldn't, you know, they're, they're not guaranteed work. They're not guaranteed hours, the MHAs or the PSEs. We'll get it. What you fail to fucking understand is the fact that if they are cutting their hours, the only way they could cut your ass, baby, is on overtime. Have you been getting it? Now, let's rewind the track back. Because I know what y'all going to say. But Miss K, where we at? You're right. Where you are. And nine times out of ten, probably where you at is a clusterfuck. They probably got mail everywhere. And that's fine. Because that means it's work for you. It's work for everybody. Nobody can complain. But in locations like my slave ship and other ones, baby, it, it's like, it's like dry cracked lips. I mean, crack, crack, crackety crack lips. Don't matter how much you put on it, it just don't, mm -mm. they don't, mm -mm. they don't bounce back. They're not moist. They just keep getting cracked and then they just turn white and then they blister and then they hurt and then the motherfucker keep licking on it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do y'all understand? Like, real talk. This shit. That's going on right now. This stagnancy in the postal service. This clusterfuckery in the postal service. Is really affecting a lot of people's mental. You can say no if you want to. But real talk it is. A lot of people just don't give a fuck anymore. And this banging out hasn't just happened within the last couple of weeks. It's, they've been banging out since the beginning of the year. And real talk, being here for the length of time I've been here, the beginning of the year, mostly nobody bangs out because we've always got work to do. We always got overtime and people want to make their bread. But when you're not offering people anything, you think they give a fuck, especially if they're sitting on a glob of time, a shitload of time. They don't care about that. Take my time. Listen, honestly, y'all, I feel like we're on a very dangerous, slippery slope right now. Where it feels like real talk that they just want people to either A, quit, B, retire, just give up the ghost so they can go ahead and do what the fuck they want to really do with the postal service. Because this makes no sense. And every time you turn around, it's some type of logistics, mail processing problem. Because the shit going down in Wichita right now. And it's not even the fact if you don't have mail. It's the reverse for a lot of other people. You have so much mail, you're inundated. You can't process the mail properly. Or they're giving you time restraints. Or the machines aren't properly um, calibrated or fixed or vacuumed the fuck out. Or whatever the hell they be doing. Because I still don't understand what they do with these machines. They need service. Stop getting new used ass shit. You won't need to service it all the time. So you have the flip side of people who have too much work and they're trying to do the best that they fucking can and mentally it's fucking with them. Because you actually got people who really do want to work, who are good workers, who want to get this shit out. We don't want to see mail sit there. So now you have people who are in a situation where you barely have work, you barely have overtime. They don't give a fuck. They call it out to the other side, which is we got too much shit. We can't process mail. We can't get the shit out. We can't get the shit in. They trying to kill us with overtime, but it doesn't matter what we do because the machines can't catch up. And your morale goes down on that. Where is the fucking middle? Where is the middle? I don't see a middle. I keep telling y'all, every day, Miss K coming to the slave ship, and I just look around and look at the shit. And I can only speak on my slave ship, y'all. Only mine. 
And I can only speak on a couple of other slave ships when y'all let me know what's going down. But right now, there's only two options on a slave ship right now that I've seen. I don't see no happy medium in the slave ships. I see the same shit. Nothing or too much of everything. But you don't see any action being taken. You don't see anything. You ask people about what the fuck going on. How's this work? Nobody knows. I got fucking management working on the floor because we don't have any people. And when you ask them, why don't you call overtime? Why don't we pull NS days? Oh, we over budget. We can't do that. But you're working. Why are you working? Because um, if Miss K become a supervisor or MDO, baby, my job is not to motherfucking work. My job is to manage, not manage to do your work. That takes away from the craft. The craft should be working. And if they can't work because they're short staff, then that means that the union or the craft itself needs to say, hey, we need more people. Not, hey, put management on the floor to work. Make, make it make motherfucking sense. Make it make sense. Y'all. I don't know if you see what's coming. Fuck, it ain't even coming. It's already here. And real talk. Y'all could take it or y'all could fucking leave it. You know how Miss K is. These people want this institution to fucking fail. So they can do it whatever they want at will. Why would you allow a place to have too much fucking mail that can't be processed and not try to get help or not try to send it to another facility? You just let the shit stack up. Let the baby chickens die. Why would you have a facility that barely has anything going on and people banging out? Why? 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 If y'all can't catch it, baby, I can't, I can't explain it no further than that. I can't. I cannot. In an election year, it's a fucking shame. In an election year, you got news stations reporting about how these plants can't get mail out. People inside of the fucking places making videos. Shit look a mess. And nobody got nothing to say about it. Except for the media, except for the public, postal service like this. Got nothing to fucking say. You got, on the flip, you got plants, stations closing, merging, people going to other facilities. Facilities barely got mail functioning. When you ask about it, huh? Huh? Can't hear nothing. Y'all need to fucking wake up and smell the motherfucking coffee. Because, baby, that coffee burnt. These motherfucking people got a whole different agenda going on. And y'all ain't fucking peeped it yet. You just haven't. While other people are saying, fuck this shit, why would I even go to work? Why? Why would I go to work to be... Standing around looking stupid. I can't be useful. I can't do anything. Why would I even try to do my job? When management lying to you. When your union lying to you. Hmm. That's just how Miss K feel today. Miss K own it. Miss K is on it today. And I'm having a lovely day. It's a beautiful day outside. I feel great. But the one thing I will not motherfucking tolerate is you motherfuckers not knowing what time it is and what's going on. I need y'all to see it with your own eyes. I can only tell you so much. Anybody who does this can only tell you guys so much. I need you to see it. If you don't see the direction of where this is going... I don't know what to tell you. These people have no plans to make the post office great again. 
These people are purposely, and y'all yeah, gonna say it, purposely wanting the postal service to look bad in an election year so they can come in another year or so and say, you know what? Look how they handled this. Either workers weren't coming to work or workers were inundated and they couldn't handle this and they couldn't handle that. We need to privatize. They've been a drain on the American uh, um, institution, on the budget. Whatever bullshit ass excuse they're going to come up with. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell y'all. But yet, this is the best part. We still hiring. My slave ship's still hiring. Who are you hiring for, baby? Because I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to stand outside. And as the new people come in for orientation, I'm going to say, oh, what, what you here for, baby? Oh, you here to be a, a MHA? You barely going to get five hours a day. <laughs> baby, if this is your second job, maybe go get another one. If this is your only job, don't do this. You're a PSC, baby, they're going to work you four hours, send you home. Mm -mm, this ain't what you want. You're a carrier child, you ain't going to make it. Because carriers are quitting left, right, and center. And that's why they're hiring y'all. Because y'all the dummies. Because y'all don't know no better. Because you don't know what type of time going on. You going to soon see. But yeah, we got budget restraints. Hmm. Budget. But I seen 20 people when I came to work coming out of orientation. Hmm. Not all of them were carriers, baby. I'm telling you, shit getting real. Shit is real right now. Really than real. You got all this shit going on that nobody seems to want to speak about, want to talk about. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. And some of y'all just blissfully ignorant. This <laughs> baby, you need to unplug. Come out the matrix. Because the shit that I see coming, baby, I just, it's hilarious. I'm telling you. Real talk. It's some real, real shit coming, bro. Mm, 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 mm. Anyway, I hate to be a Debbie Downer on hump day, but I just had to let my feelings know. You know, Miss K, Miss mm -mm, K ain't got no hair on her tongue. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to tell y'all what I see and how I see it. If y'all disagree with me, because some of y'all will, and that's fine. Drop it in the comments. Let me know. Let the postal freaks know. If you agree with what I'm saying, or you feel there's some other type of other ulterior motive involved, because, hey, I'm involved. I want to know too. Put it in the comments so that we all can read it. So we all can know what's going on. Sorry, y'all had to be heavy today because I didn't mean to come and be heavy. I had other shit going, you know, I was going to speak about so much other stuff. But I, this really, it hit my soul today, my soul. And when stuff hit my soul, I got to talk about it so I can let it go and release it. It's released. I feel better now. So I promise next video, y'all, is going to be more informative. Give y'all something that y'all can actually use to put in your toolbox. Okay, so. Enjoy the rest of your hump day if you're at work. If you already left and it's a beautiful day where you are, enjoy the rest of your day. If you're on your NS, enjoy your NS. And always remember my postal freaks. Love and light. Peace.